Hi, my name is Stephanie Arroyo, and I'm on the PM team for Azure Cosmos DB. Today, I will be discussing the new Azure Cosmos DB Partition Key Advisor to help you better understand partitioning, and thus increase your performance and lower costs. Cosmos DB is Azure's globally distributed multi-model database service with automatic and elastic horizontal scaling of throughput, or number of requests per second, and storage. Before we dive deep into explaining the functionality of our new tool, let's go over how partitioning works in Cosmos DB. Partitioning is the way in which we horizontally scale the data in our database. As a user, it is important to keep in mind how your data is partitioned for scalability, throughput, and performance. Partitioning is made up of two main concepts, logical partitions and physical partitions. These partitions allow you to group a set of items or data in your collection by a similar property, also known as partition key. For example, if you have a car collection where you have properties such as car color, VIN number, make model, etc., these are all perfect examples of possible partition keys. The way you control the mapping of your data is through setting a good partition key. This maps to logical partitions. As you can see, if we partition this data by car color, we will have all red color cars in a partition, all blue and finally all black. This is how groups are formed. Logical partitions consist of a set of items that have the same partition key. The second part is physical partitions. Physical partitions are the physical storage of your data that allows one or more logical partitions to map to it based on an internal hash function. It is important to note not to limit the number of logical partitions because they will be scaled down to a smaller number due to physical partition mapping. However, choosing the right partition key is not always easy. Let's go over some best practices on how to choose a partition key for a write heavy use case. First thing to consider is having good storage distribution uniformity. Overall, high cardinality or uniqueness of values. And lastly, good distinctness at any given time or second. Now let's illustrate this with some examples. Before your data is stored, Cosmos DB uses an internal hash function on the partition key to decide in what physical partition your data will be stored. All items that have the same partition key will be stored together in the same physical partition. In this example, we are looking at parking in an international airport. The gate serves as a hash function used to determine where a car will be parked based on a partition key. For instance, if we are partitioning this data set on car fuel type as a car or data is being hashed, we will see that most cars are diesel fuel as compared to electric or other types and therefore will be mapped to the appropriate partition. The first parking lot is also known as a hot partition. Hot partitions occur when the partition key design does not distribute the throughput requests evenly, limiting the maximum utilization rate and having an inefficient use of the provision throughput and higher costs. To avoid this, you can choose a partition key like the VIN number where you have a good storage distribution of your cars because of the high number of unique values that can be in evenly distributed versus the previous example where car fuel type will have a high number of requests to one single partition. Next thing to consider is having a high cardinality. Having a high cardinality means having a high number of unique values. The more number of unique values you have, the higher the number of logical partitions and the better the uniformity. Finally, it is important to have good distinctness of values at a given time, also known as distinctness per second. In this scenario, we will add the additional concept of time. Imagine looking for parking at an airport on a very busy time of day like 9 a.m. on Saturday. We might know that most people with SUVs travel at this time. So what will happen? What happens is that on Saturday morning, we may have a hot partition of people coming into the first parking lot because there will be less requests coming in from trucks or buses as opposed to SUV. And therefore, we'll have a hot partition on the first parking lot. To avoid this, we typically use a value with a higher cardinality like VIN number. This is where the new addition to Cosmos DB, the Partition Key Advisor, will come into play. The Partition Key is an open source web application that will help you choose the right partition key by providing a comprehensive analysis of your existing data in Cosmos DB and recommends the best of the test keys based on high cardinality of values, throughput, and storage distribution uniformity. There are currently two versions of this project, one being a live application deployed on Azure, and the other is a GitHub project where you can download the source code and add additional features. The Partition Key Advisor has a potential for various use cases. Today, we'll be addressing the IoT device streaming scenario for write-heavy workloads. 
Let's go over a real example. Say you're a developer in Contazo Device Corp, an IoT device company that ingests data and bursts from device sensors in various locations. You want to know whether your current partition key is good or if there's a better partition key. To do this, let's test out our application. Once you navigate to the Partition Key Advisor website, you would have to enter some account setting information found in the Azure portal. Once you've filled out this information, you can then navigate to the Candidate Partition Key section. Here, this is where we will be entering several keys that we'd like to test on our current collection. Here we have our collection and several items we have in our collection, including device ID, location, device location, and submit day, submit hour. These are certain partition keys that we are able to test with our application. In this case, we'll be testing out device ID, location ID, and submit second. So let's navigate back to our advisor. Here we see that our recommended partition key based on the three we just inputted was device ID based on the workload score of 74%. This is calculated by the uniformity score plus a total uniqueness score and plus the distinctness. Here we will able to select a candidate key to show the distribution. Here you see how your data set is being distributed. It looks fairly uniform. Same thing with location ID. This also looks uniform. However, in one partition, you see that there may be about a thousand documents, and this may not be the best in terms of storage distribution. Let's look at submit second. Submit second looks very, very well distributed and only has about 45 documents within one partition. Some analysis on this previous graph, you see that submit second actually has the best storage uniformity percentage and location ID has the worst. Moving on to total uniqueness per key, we find the cardinality of each of these keys. Temperature Celsius seems to have the most number of unique values. Submit second has 661 values, device ID 200 values, and location ID has 30. If we scroll down to the analysis of this cardinality chart, we will see that submit second actually has the highest total uniqueness per key and location ID has the lowest value. As we continue on to the distinctness per second distribution, we see that device ID has the, actually the highest number of unique values at any given second in time compared to location ID and submit second. In this analysis of our graph, we see that device ID has actually the highest number of distinct values per second. So this is how we were able to recommend a partition key as device ID. And that was it for the Partition Key Advisor. This project is currently open source. If you're interested in adding any additional features or functionality, please visit our GitHub page. Contributions are welcome. Thank you, and I hope you enjoyed this video.